Hey there, welcome to Grouper. Grouper is an application that you can use to make groups of things, whether they be numbers, people, or anything else that can possibly have a name, so you can use Grouper for. So let's take a quick tour around. Let's say we just want to make the most basic of groups, a group with some numbers. We can do that. We need to make a name for our group, say numbers, and how many items we want in total, we'll say 25, and maybe there are five items per group here. We'll save it. Awesome. Now we have a group. We can go in, and check it out. And now we have five different rows of numbers, all randomly selected. And in fact, if we go in, they're random again every single time. If we're done with a group, we can swipe it away. And when they're all gone, we're taken back to our main screen. Done with a card. Get rid of it all together. And now you can move on. Now let's say that you want to go out making some names. You want to make groups of names or names of things, whatever you want to call them. Here, you can see you have named groups. Before we make a named group, we have to make a list of names. This is sort of like a way to categorize names, and then we can make groups out of that. So let's go ahead and let's do that first. I'm going to make uh, one called teammates. This is going to have five, mem five members. It'll have me. I should have six. It'll have uh, Jake. It'll have John. It'll have Mike. Eh, it'll have Will. And it'll have, I uh, say, Joe. And we'll save it right there. Now we have, right here, you can see, a group called teammates, and we have at least five members, Darian, Jake, John, Mike, and Will. We can go back in and look at it and see everything we had right there. Let's go back. So let's make a group out of that. Let's say we need two people, or we need groups of two people inside this to go work on their own projects. So here, we selected teammates, selected by default, and we're going to call this a project with two say uh, with two and items per group we'll say two save now we've gone about creating groups that are randomly distributed with two people in them using the list we just made let's go right in there and here we have our teams we have will john joe jake darian and mike awesome let's say we also know we're doing this another project but this one has three people in it so call this team effort We'll say three, and it still uses teammates. You can see right there, and we'll go in. And now we have two teams of three. Just like with the previous groups, we can swipe these away, and they take us right back. Now let's say we go into our saved list of names, and maybe, maybe Jake's bothered us a bit. So we're tired of Jake. We're actually just going to fire him right now. And he's gone. He's fired. All of your other groups will now update. They no longer have Jake in them, because they use that same group that you just created. Joe, Mike, Will, John, Darian, and no Jake whatsoever. Just exactly the way we want it. So let's clear away all of our groups. Let's go back to our name list. And maybe we don't want to call this teammates anymore. We're going to call this, I don't know, um, say friends. Why not? Now, one thing to note, we'll save. One thing to note is that if you have extra groups made out of the save list of names, you cannot edit that tag. But now we have this new list called friends, and we go into our named groups. It's now called friends, and we can choose to make a name for this, say party. And maybe we're having parties with three people in each. And there you go. And there you have it. An awesome way to generate names randomly lists randomly, groups randomly, whatever you want to call them, either with numbers or with names. The choice is yours.